Hello and welcome back to this no code series where we're going to be building an entire software startup from scratch in just two weeks. And in the last video, we actually got started with Webflow, started building out the landing page, making things look how we wanted. And in this video, we're going to set up payments and we're going to set up authentication, allowing users to log in and out. And I know I talked about using, you know, whether I was going to use member stack or at Seta, and I ended up deciding to use out Seta. And this was like super easy to set up. It took like 10 minutes. All I had to do was add a little code snippet to the top of Webflow in the header. And then I just created a few plans, uh, a lifetime plan, a done for you plan, and a little guy plan, which is just the basic plans I just made up. And then all you do is when you're setting this up uh, in here is you go to embeds and then you add this header script and then you just add these links to the buttons that you want them to happen. So like for the login button, I make the link on the login button go to this link. And that's as simple as in Webflow, click on the button and in the gear, um, we, we see right here, external URL, and I just put this link in right here. And I do that for all of the different pricing plans for all these different buttons. And as you can see, if I click see sites, we scroll down to the pricing section and you can see all the pricing. And when I click on one, you can see $29 a month, build monthly. And I don't know if it'll be $29 a month. I kind of just put some numbers in here uh, roughly just to see how all this worked, but it was super easy to set up. And even if I was building this like with code using like a JavaScript framework or something, I might still even use Outseta because it was super easy to set up. I mean, seriously, like 10 minutes and I got all this set up and like this form looks like it belongs with the rest of the site. Like it doesn't look out of place. And then when the user actually clicks to log in, it'll be taken to the dashboard, which is the last page that I get to build in Webflow. And that's where all of the information is going to be. And as far as all of that information, I have been switching between this task and filling out uh, this massive spreadsheet of a bunch of different sites and all their contact information, their social handles, different notes about how to go about contacting them. So I'm kind of doing both in unison and that is coming together. I think I'll have several hundred sites uh, by the time I get to launch this. I know I'm running out of time. I know this is only a two week challenge. I'm gonna finish up this last page on Webflow and then I should be ready to launch. All right, I think I'm finally finished. In total, this probably only took maybe four hours. Um, this page, the first page here that you see, basically a landing page, took a couple hours. I just set up the dashboard. So let me log in and I'll show you what that looks like. Basically, I used JetBoost and added all of these different um, boosters. Uh, so dynamic list filter, search, favorite, and pages. And if I log into the dashboard, uh, this is a very simple dashboard of what we got going on. And this is where each of the contacts will be listed. Now, this is just some like, you know, lorem ipsum Latin nonsense that I just kind of put in here as a test. Um, but, well, actually this one's real. But basically this is going to populate with all the contacts. And then we do have the favoriting uh, where we just click this heart and it'll favorite it. And then if I just click favorites, it will only show the favorites. So I'm very happy with that. And that is all jet boost as well as this search. Um, you know, so it'll only show depending on what is in the uh, search bar. So all in all, pretty easy to set up. Um, did not write a single line of code for this. Uh, and it looks pretty good. Uh, there's also the settings. This is all in Outseta. Uh, I can manage the billing and the plan and change the plan, change my email, change the password, and I didn't have to do any code there. Again, I might use this even if I was writing code because this is actually a really useful tool. And just tied everything up, just honestly followed the very straightforward tutorials that Outseta has as well as JetBoost and just followed them to the T and everything worked exactly the way I wanted it to. So I might clean this up a little more, make it look nicer, um, but honestly, I'm pretty happy with how the site has turned out. I think it looks pretty good and you know, for a simple two week no code challenge, 
I think we're on the right track. So with the site built, it is time to start thinking about launching and nailing down my price point of what I'm going to offer the product at. And I'm going to do all of that in the next video of this series. So this is all for this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.